Hello everyone and welcome to the next session of Code Java. From this session, we will start the discussion about polymorphism. Let's first understand what is polymorphism. As discussed earlier, polymorphism is one of the object-oriented programming concepts. We can say it as a pillar of object-oriented programming concepts. It is a concept by which we can perform a single action in different ways. Means when one entity can perform a certain operation in different ways, that is nothing but polymorphism. Other, in other words, when one entity is available in multiple forms, at the same time, it is termed as polymorphism. The real life example of polymorphism is a human being, the best example. We do play different roles in our real life. And when one role is being played, what about other roles? They still exist, right? So when when one person is available in multiple roles at the same time, that is nothing but polymorphism. Same way, when, when one entity is available in multiple forms at the same time, it is termed as polymorphism. What are the types of polymorphism? Two types, compile time polymorphism and runtime polymorphism. When I say that one entity is available in multiple forms at the same time, how many forms will be used at once? Obviously one form at once only, right? So if which form of entity is being utilized is known at the time of compilation, it is termed as compile time polymorphism. And if it is known at the time of execution, it is termed as runtime polymorphism. These are also termed as static binding and dynamic binding. We can perform this polymorphism in Java by using method overloading and method overriding concepts. Method overloading is the way of implementing compile time polymorphism and method overriding is the way of implementing runtime polymorphism, which we will be discussing in forthcoming sessions. Thank you.